Gold and silver may find a bottom. The Fed will hike four times and Trump might prove to be good for the U.S. economy. These are just a few of our things. Our next guest expects to happen in 2017. Joining us now from Chicago is the trader and host of The Bubba Show, Todd Baba Horowitz. Good to have you back on, Bubba. Daniela, always great to be on with you. Especially it's our outlook. And it's been quite a year uh, for the gold market. This time last year, most thought 2016 would be a quiet year. Instead, gold had its best start in over three decades. So how do you think 2017 might start out here? You know, I think uh, the beginning of the year should certainly start out well. We're, we're certainly approaching some low levels here. Um, we, we're, we're pretty certain based on what's going on with the interest rate market that the Fed is going to raise. Uh, and I think the dollar's already priced that in. So I would expect to see gold, if not bottom soon, then make a rally first before it's going to bottom. I, I do think 2017 will be the bottom of gold. So I, I think we could see some good action and maybe be earlier rather than later. Okay, so in the first quarter of the year, you think 1050, 1100 for the metal as a target, Baba? Yeah, I think uh, if we get to that, you know, 1050, 1100 level, I think you, you want to be a, a drastic owner. I think you're looking at probably the absolute lows and, and maybe forever now. I think that that's where we're kind of getting to as it builds its, its base here. I think we're somewhere in that neighborhood. It would be a great spot to buy and, and start building a big position. Well, after spending this year with you, I know one thing's for sure. You love silver. So where do you see prices going for this metal? But yeah, I think silver is going to probably, you know, do the same thing bottom. I would think silver is probably around 16 as a bottom area. I could see 16 going, I said 16. I could see silver going into the 20s this year. I could see it going higher. This could be a very good year for the metals. I, I think a lot of things set up right, which would include a, an admitting of a recession in the United States. And... On that topic, the U.S. dollar, it seems to have been the thorn in gold side this year. Uh, many analysts I spoke to uh, still very bullish on the U.S. dollar. Uh, where does it go for, from here for you, Bubba? Well, you know, I think that we built in the U.S. dollar already. I, I think that's already been priced in. I think 102 that it hit last week um, earlier was a, a the high. I don't see it going much higher. You know, we've really had a dramatic rally. And right now it's on about 14-year highs. I don't see the dollar going any higher. In fact, I would be a big seller of the dollar, and which would be another reason to believe that gold and silver are going to go much higher. Okay, quick take on the Fed now. Uh, you say it's likely to hike four times. Not because it says so, but because President-elect Trump might demand it? Well, I think Trump wants to see interest rates rise because I think he wants to create more stimulus in the economy. And the only way that the banks are going to lend money is if they can get a fair spread. And the only way to do that is to get interest rates higher. Now, we've seen the 10-year and the 30 pushed straight up. So I'm going to have to assume the Fed's going to follow through. The only problem with that plan is if they decide they want to do a lot of infrastructure right away, then they will try to keep rates artificially low. But I say they raise four times next year would be my guess. Baba, thank you so much. Happy holidays. Danielle, Best of luck. thank you and happy holidays to you. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We have more Outlook coverage coming your way. In the meantime, happy holidays. Enjoy it.